Howdy all, I am Adam the Renaissance Nerd. Shooting oneself in their own foot. That is what generally happens when you turn your future of your IP, your franchises, everything you want to do over to SJWs. All they will ever do is destroy what you've built, whether they're a part of your company or not, because you have catered engineered your entire marketing to please them and not the fans that is the case when it comes to the marvel cinematic universe the mcu they have driven away all the real fans and what they are left with are crackpot sjw's but that's what they wanted that's what they have steadily done Day after day, week after week, month after month, and now year after year. And what do you get? You get crackpots who <laughs> happily say, white people, you don't get to go see Black Panther 2 on opening night. You have to go buy tickets and give them to black people and then stand as a human wall so people can't come in and harm us while we watch this movie so we can be in peace. This is the kind of crazy that we have to deal with now. Let's look at specifically. We are here bounding into comics. Spencer Bakuli, social justice activist, says white people must skip Black Panther Wakanda forever on opening weekend. To do anything other than this is anti-black. All right, let's just skip right to what this psycho is saying. And she is a psycho. This needlessly divisive rhetoric was first raised on October 24th TikTok video posted by self-described social reform activist. <sighs> Heavy emphasis on self-described as even her own website appears to list her credentials in the field as little more than the operation of a seemingly defunct personal blog, Lavander Lee. If you go to see Wakanda Forever on opening weekend, you're anti-black. White people need to stay away so that black people can enjoy that movie in peace. Here's the whole thing. This message for all our would-be accomplices and white allies. The message is to all white people who have BLM in their bio. If you really want to prove to black people that you love us and that you care about us and that you're down for the cause, don't go see Wakanda Forever opening the weekend. You buy your ticket, you give it to a black person or a black family who cannot afford to go, and then you go and sit in that theater in front of the doors. You make sure that every black person in that theater can enjoy that movie in peace. You make sure you use your body to block us from anybody who would be coming into the theater to do us harm. That's all we really need, I think to understand that we're dealing with crazies. We're dealing with a psychotic individual who lives in a world all of her own crazy making. First of all, MCU, you get what you effing deserve, Kevin Feige and Disney. This is who you have cultivated by bending the knee over and over again, by catering to my diversity and my inclusion, this is what you get. Somebody of the whack out, virtue signaling, woke SJW crowd telling the audience that you desperately need to show up on opening night to not come because newsflash, and this is just reality. Black people in the United States only make up about 13 to 15% of the population as a whole. 13 to 15% if every black person went to see Wakanda forever. That's not a good that's that's not the opening night you're going to need or get to push this movie to a billion dollars, which is what Disney MCU needs. They need it to be a billion dollars. My point is, this is what you this is what you get. You've driven the rest of us away, and this is what you're left with. This is what you're left with. Crazy people. This is not a recipe to make money. Because that's what this is. This is the business that needs to make money. 
and you've driven away the people who actually have money to spend, who are willing right now to spend $20 on a ticket to go see your crap. Let's, I'd love to see the reaction from the stands. Because you know the stands, they're caught between a rock and a hard place now. Their programmed devotion to the MCU, their blind devotion, they must go see this movie. They have to go see this movie. But then they have to virtue signal and support a crazy person like this. Because remember, stands are basically robot SJWs because they will they will regurgitate whatever the woke de jure virtue signal is of that moment. So they're caught. I'd love to see the stand reactions to this. But I have to go see it. But then again, I have to I have to virtue signal myself that I love black people. What can I do? What you do is maybe break your programming and understand that you don't have to go see this movie because it's going to be crap anyway. Ugh. I am, I, I'm, I am astonished that we've reached this point. And Christopher Cooley goes on to show the hypocrisy of this person basically saying, uh, instead of maybe helping impoverished black families with charity or some other way or proper way. No, just go buy them a ticket. Go buy them a ticket to a crap Marvel movie. A movie that is being placed on a pedestal that it doesn't even deserve. I mean, this movie, it's some sort of bastardization of paying homage to Chadwick Boseman, yet it's going to be a bunch of whammons running around yelling at people what it looks like but again you create a crap product for crap people now don't be surprised when nobody shows up to your movie because that's the thing who's gonna show up to this movie now at this point a lot of people seeing this kind of rhetoric might be turned off and therefore it's the double-edged sword White people, don't go see it. White people, why didn't you go see it? Because this black lunatic told us not to. <laughs> we are living in an insane alternate reality. That's the only explanation right now. We are in a crazy version of our planet Earth where psychos like this feel entitled to do this i i want to go back to my real world where i just went to the movies every couple of months and i saw something and i either liked it or i didn't like it and i didn't have to defend myself for either not seeing it or having an opinion on why it sucked and not be called a name for saying it sucked mcu you get what you effing deserve and I hope that this only hastens the demise of Disney Marvel. Because frankly, it needs to burn. Burn like Dr. Karen. All right, I'm done. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be very much appreciated. If you are new here, I invite you to subscribe to me right here on YouTube, where I hope to earn your trust and support using facts and logic, because facts and logic do not care about whiny Stan and SJW Fifi's. Hit the notification button, share my videos if you like what I'm preaching, and by all means, leave a comment. I love to hear from you guys, real normal people who are not insane, because I'm just like you, a normal guy who wants to be entertained. I don't care what the stands or the SJWs have to think, because 201, they are cowards behind keyboards, and I can't wait for this video to trigger them hard. Thank you again for watching. Take it easy. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to get in touch with me, you can reach out to me at therentnerd at gmail.com. That emails for channel business only, so I check it on a daily basis. Also, you can find me at the Geeks and Gamers forums under at Roas, and you can find me at Rumble and Odyssey, the Renaissance Nerd. Thank you again. See you next time.